Hey guys, so I'm taking over Flo's YouTube channel today because it's my birthday and I decided to do something really simple with a few candles, um, bottle of champagne and then some petals as you can see. One would ask why I'm using a black background. Yes, it's my birthday and I want all the attention on me. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this. Mwah. So you've already met Asedua. She's in the studio today and she's already spoken about the whole color theme or palette that we're going with today. So I'm just going to go straight and talk about my camera setup. I know it looks very weird, but that is because I have the Atomos attached to it. So for my lighting, I'm going to be using three lights. You know, I've been doing two lights for a very long time, but today I'm doing a third light and there's a reason for that. But I'm going to walk you through starting off with the main light. This is our main light and it's the 36 inch Octa box and I have a grid on there and what it's supposed to do is focus the light just on hair like she described um, in the beginning we want all the focus to be on hair so I'm just assigning this light to light hair up and maybe just a little bit of what is going on on the table now my second light which is in group B so this is in group A I can change all of those on the trigger it's just supposed to cast like a rim light on here and also on these bottles so we have a little bit more attention on there and I don't have the grid on that light because I want it to spill off onto the backdrop just a little bit. Now we also chose, even though we're going for a dark theme, we chose to add this fabric which has sequins in them so it can catch some of the lights that we'll be throwing on here. But you know in the beginning I said my main light is only going to be focusing on my subject. So then how are we going to get a light on the backdrop? We have our third light and that is my 120cm deep parabolic octa and it's a fill light. You know all the time I'm using a reflector to bounce the main light back onto my subject but if I do that it means we are not going to have any light going all the way uh, to the backdrop and I also don't want the light to overshadow um, the entire setup. So this fill light even though it's going to affect the main shot it's just going to be picked up by the reflective sequence in the backdrop. So that's the whole idea. This is not supposed to affect her so much. It's only supposed to affect the reflective parts in the sequence. So that's the whole thing that we're working with. You guys will see it on the screen as I'm shooting. So um, yeah, let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna be using my Canon R6 for this shoot. And I'm gonna be shooting with a Sigma 50 millimeter 1.4 because I want to add a bit of bokeh in the background as well. So when a sequence in the back picks up the light, it's just going to be rendered as small bokeh balls in the background and that's the whole idea. So um, let's start with the shoot. So we're gonna start off with our rim light that is set to group C. And that is all that is gonna be triggered right now. So yeah. You can see that we've been able to, like I said, get the rim light on here. Let me just take one more. Okay, yeah, so it's lighting the backdrop a little bit. It's lighting the bottles and it's edging hair out. The next light I'm gonna turn on is gonna be my group B light, which is the fill light and currently set to one over 64. I'll take another shot. Okay. Can you look at me a bit more? Yeah. Perfect, okay. You can see uh, she's being lit up, but it's not really, really cutting hair out of the entire setup. So I'm gonna turn on my main light, which is in group A. And because that is just for hair, when I take a shot, now you can see that she's being separated from the entire backdrop. She's been really well lit. So that is what we're going to be doing today and then we're going to start shooting so okay yeah perfect love that can you turn up a little yeah yeah that's nice stunning okay i really like oh yeah i like the way you did that so maybe just move your body out a little bit too much high then like you're leaning towards the table yeah perfect just like that yeah yeah nice you can put this hand on your yes perfect and then so you can push your hip to yeah even cross the leg, 
Yeah. Yeah, much better. Okay. And then, yes. Yeah, that's nice. That's very nice, actually. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. Okay, keep moving. Perfect. I like the way the sequence in the back is making it look like a starry night. Yeah, that's nice. Beautiful. Okay, one last one. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. guys all too soon this has come to an end i hope you enjoyed it because i did if you did like subscribe leave a comment and see you in the next video and don't ever <laughs> give up <laughs>